All right, hello and welcome everyone to another InventRight.com TV show. Make sure to check out InventRight.com, click on coaching and learn more about how this guy and this guy and all our coaches have been coaching mentoring and veterans for the last 15 years. What's the topic today, Stephen? Well, someone asked um, on, on one of our channels, what, what inspires us? What inspires me or you? Or how do you come up with ideas? How do you stay motivated? You know, what is it for me? What inspires me? I love products. I go down to the mall and I like to walk around. I I'm a shopper. I'm a consumer. I love walking there and seeing something that's really clever and going, wow, how did someone come up with such a simple idea? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm curious, but when I see something, it, it sparks that creativity in me. That, that's what I like. Yeah. The, the other thing I like is to read, this is terrible, on the bookshelf behind, I've got all these self-help books. Mm. I love to read how someone's done it because every once in a while you, you get this nugget. It inspires me, mm -hmm. especially when someone has had some maybe struggle, maybe had a problem and they've overcome it, but they, they leave you with the thought of, I can do it too. One of the most important books when I first started out, especially with one of my big ideas was called the magic of thinking big. And what this book was saying was, look, you're going to have, you're going to come across all these obstacles. Right. And it depends on how you look at these obstacles, but it's also realize you're in for a journey. Right. And so prepare yourself. You're doing you're, you, you are courageous when you're when you're starting out in this business. Realize you're doing something most people can't do. Be proud of that. Mm -hmm. Be curious. Understand, hey, I don't have all the answers, mm -hmm. but I believe in myself. Mm -hmm. I believe in myself enough to where I can find the information. And I can stay with it long enough. And I don't care what people, you know, I've had more people tell me, you're crazy. What are you doing that for? I don't like that. You should be doing a regular job. They told me that forever. I said, forget that. I don't want to. I want to live the life I want to live. I want to come up with ideas. I want to wake up on Monday morning excited. But you have, you have to, you know, you make a very good point. You have to enjoy the journey, not just standing at the top of the mountain. Because if you're constantly thinking about, and that does motivate some people, but it discourages a lot of people too. Like they constantly think like, well, I'm not at the top of the mountain. My product is not yet on the end cap at Walmart. And there it's negative thinking instead of positive thinking, instead of thinking like, wow, I just got into 20 companies and five showed interest. I never thought I could do this. And so enjoy those victories as you climb the mountain, not just being at the top. That's very important yeah. thing that we teach our students, but finding inspiration, getting back to your, your initial thought. I, I like to, f well, first of all, find like-minded people, right? That, that can inspire you. Andrew, we were on a trip. This is years and years ago. We were in Australia uh -huh. and we met this remarkable person, Mark Victor Hansen. That was one of the uh, writers for Chicken Soup for the Soul. One of the uh, co-author uh, yeah. of Chicken Soup for the Soul. Yeah. He inspired me. Mm -hmm. and He's a very, Man, this guy has so much positive energy. It's crazy. You know, you know what's great about it? We, yeah. we, we were flying um, to different cities. We got to know him. And when I got back and I needed a testimonial mm -hmm. for, for one of the books, I called Mark up. I said, hey, Mark, this is Stephen Key. You know what he said to me? Yes. Did he, goes, he, did he, wait, he did, said, wait, wait, wait. I remember yes. This, I remember this story. And he, you could tell you were going to ask something. And you didn't even say what he was asking. You, you he didn't just say said, what you were said, asking. He just said, whatever you, uh, whatever you need, Stephen, yes. Yes. It was and so positive. It was so positive, And you realize, find those people in your life that motivate you that way. And the ones that kind of drag you down, get rid of them. You don't need them. Or, or, or at the very least, if you can't get rid of them, don't talk to them about your ideas. <sighs> yeah. It just, just don't. And it'll be fine. Just they, they don't need to know about it. If they keep being judgmental and... And, and pessimistic about your ideas, then just don't talk to them. Talk to the positive ones. Fun. Now, you've got to be careful. The overly positive ones, great. They can motivate you, but you still need to do your research and go, well, well just because three relatives told you it's great doesn't mean it fits in the marketplace. So you can still get fun. But it's nice to get positive reinforcement. If you can find that mentor, if you can find someone that's going to help you along the way, that can inspire you, find it. If it's in a book, fantastic. If it's a video like this, watch the videos. I don't care what it is. But find people that are thinking the same way. Mm -hmm. Find the people that want to wake up on a Monday and they're excited. Find those people 
that that will that will, that will lift you up. Yeah, yeah. When you have, and when you have a combination of those people lifting you up, plus your excitement of coming about coming up with new products, whether it's walking the mall or me, I'm more a sit in front of your computer kind of guy. I love going to the store, but I got a four year old and a wife, and they don't want me wandering around the mall for five hours, and they need me at home. So I'll get on the computer, I'll go on Google Images. And I'll just study a microcategory. I'll just study all the barbecue spatulas or all the, the computer mice. I know this one guy that became a multimillionaire creating new types of computer mice. Um, and find your inspiration. And you'll get all, uh, as a creative people, we're very visual. You know, you I know, mean, so you get all this visual stimulation on Google Images with all these products, and you can invent that way. But most people just invent like you do, Steve. They just go to the mall, they wander around, they see something, they get inspired by the product. And then you get, if you have people that aren't positive in your life, that can drag you down. But when you have your inspiration for products plus people that lift you up, that's a great combo. Plus, the third thing is the trifecta there, if that's the right word, is, is, is the right information on how to move it forward. Yeah. Right? You, you, you know, there was a, uh, someone interviewed me for a podcast, Daniel, 20 Rich Something, and he was just the most remarkable guy. And we did this interview, and I, I liked him. Mm -hmm. I liked, he was starting out. He kind of reminded me of myself, right? Yeah. He's starting out. Yeah. And so I said to him, are you a writer? And he goes, yeah. And I said, well, do you want to write for a national magazine? Let me make an introduction for you. And he said, you would do that? And I said, yeah. And he goes, well, I wouldn't do that. And I said, well, let's see how it works out. Sure mm -hmm. enough, I introduced, he starts writing for it. And he, call, he emails me, goes, look, you taught me something. Mm -hmm. You taught me, you yeah. reached down and you helped the next guy up. Always reach down and help the next guy up. You guys, you have to work together, lift all of all of us together. If your if your intentions are good, people will recognize that, and I think people have recognized that with InventRight, with our business. I mean, when we started 15 plus years ago, we never said, "How can we make money off inventors?" I was running inventors groups. Steve was a speaker. We said, "You know, there needs to be something more than just a once a month lecture." And we said, "How can we help?" And we never said like, how can we, it was kind of like, maybe not a good business model, but it worked, but people sensed our sincerity in everything we did. And it still rings true today, 15, 16 years later when we have. No, because you know, Andrew, when you're an educator and you help that person succeed and they succeed, there is no amount of money that will make you feel that way. Right. Because you help somebody else. Right. And that's what people, that's why, why, that's why teachers teach is that they're gonna make other people successful. Mm -hmm. And that's why you're right. If you're chasing the dollars, do something else. I tell everybody, don't do that. That's a bad idea. Find something you love to do, right? right. That makes you feel good yeah. and you'll do great. And it's a total cliche, but you do what you love, the money will come. Yep. And it's very, very true with admitting. So there you go. Yeah. All right, cool. So <laughs> take care, keep inventing. Go to inventright.com, <laughs> check out the coaching page, learn more about how Steven, myself, and our coaches have been coaching mentoring inventors for over 15 years successfully. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.